Thank you so much for all of you who've just found a little bit of time in the day to watch my video. It really means so much to me. I can't appreciate it enough. And this is the first Infinite Warfare video that I'm going to share with you on um, the supply drop opening. So we're into Quartermaster. As you can see there, I have got one common drop that I got free and also 15 rare free drops. Plus, I've got over 150 keys to spend as well. One thing I have liked so far in Infinite Warfare when you do go into the Quartermaster is the prototype lab. You can use your salvage to unlock other upgraded weapons um, and it is, it's really good. I wish they'd have brought this out on other Call of Duty games but um, I'm really liking that and I can't wait to unlock them. But I'm, I've got over kind of 1,700 salvage there so I've got enough to buy quite a few prototype um, guns but we'll leave that for another occasion. We've also got the mission team depot as well. When you do get up through the ranks and the levels of whichever mission that you decide to go with, you will unlock various different formed weapons as well. Each having different abilities and attachments that you can stack up with one another, which again is a really great thing. We've also got the QR M5TR collection. So again, these are another various forms of weapons. They range from the common to the rears to the legendary to the epic weapons. And the great thing is, well, when you do start to unlock all these and use them, you can acquire different challenges for various weapons as well. Also, when you pick up enemy guns on the floor, you get different challenges um, completed for using epic weapons, for using enemy legendary weapons. So that's quite good. But anyway, let's use this common one first of all. We're going to get straight into the drops and see what we've got. But that's really cool. I've got a never soft accessory. That's one of those little accessories that you can have on the side of your gun and show off to everyone what you've got. So that's pretty cool. It's like a little eyeball on a, on a kind of a stick. So I'm going to be using that. I'll show you that later on, guys. We've got some kind of dude there on a card, um, an emblem, which is a rare. And also the great thing is by the look of it as well, we're actually getting different um, guns that will have different attachments to them. They've got their own kind of perks or abilities, as I said before. So that's pretty good that we're getting these in the drops. I mean, that's a rare gun that I've got there. Um, let's see what we get. I can see some orange epics floating away there, but we're not got any just yet. We've got spray paint. Another gun there. Um, again, that's a, a recon one that has an ability of recon on that. So they're pretty cool. I do like them. I like the helmet there we got as well. Give us an epic. Let's have an epic. Oh, the stud camo. That's pretty good. Um, so that's nice. Yeah, I've got the uh, Eclipse as well there. Variation of that particular gun. And also another emblem there. Let's have an epic. That'd be nice. Oh, it nearly came around there. Another emblem as well, guys. That's a pretty cool on the skull. But we've got another variation of the pistol there. And if you look at the abilities, well, that's got a couple of abilities. So I, I do like that. I'm, I'm liking all the little attachments that come with these guns. And um, they're different guns to use. Obviously, you can use them to your preference. There's a nice calling card there, Europa Ocean. I do like the calling cards. Going to try and get them all if we can. Another variation of gun there, Equilibrium. So that's really nice that they've got so many guns because there's no doubt that no one's going to get all the variations of guns. No doubt someone will probably somewhere in the world get them all. There's another one there, another rare one. Look at that helmet, guys. That's a really cool one. It's only a common, but it's still a different um, outfit, headgear, whatever you want to call it. We've got a Starry Night Camouflage, another variation of a pistol, and that's a nice camo as well. That's a rear one there at the end. So no kind of... Um, I mean, that's really nice. Chameleon there, the body there. Um, that's a legendary. I'm liking the look of that one. We've got the Scratches camo as well, so we'll have a look at these later. But yeah, no kind of... Um, actually different gun like we would see in normal Call of Duties. Whether they bring different actual guns out or not, we don't know yet. Maybe they will in the future. But at the moment, we have got the guns that we already know we have, and they're just giving us different variations of them at the moment that we can get in the drops. So again, it's still nice. I'm happy with that. So we've got another calling card there. We've got two recticles as well. MV is one of them, so I do like the recticles. We've got some salvage, that's pretty neat. And we've got another couple of headgears there as well, so two in one drop. We've got a rare there, and uh, we also get bonus salvage, I, re I realised at the side as well. So we'll keep an eye on that just to see what bonus I'm getting on. This one i got 10, I've got another rare helmet there, Neptune. That's a pretty cool one, I like that. 
What are we going to get in this one? Come on, give us an epic. No, another Recticle Predator. That sounds pretty neat. Um, I'll try that out later, I think. We've got another emblem there and a different variation of weapon again. Not too many epics coming my way at the moment, but there's a legendary. We'll have a look at that later. That's got two perks in that one as well, or two different kind of attachments already equipped with, equipped with that gun. And we can stack up other attachments on top of that. Oh, we've got a, a rear taunt, so that's nice. And also another common headgear, and plus a camo. So you'll have to let me know, drop me your comments, guys, on what drops you've been getting, whether you've been getting anything really tasty. That's a cool one, the legendary psychedelic camo for the pistol. That really does look cool, so we'll have a look at that one later. And also got another calling card there, looks some kind of brains going on there. Um, and... Uh, yeah, another variation of gun there. So I'm just kind of skipping through these guys, but um, we we are actually we've got another twenty there. But we are using the keys at the moment, so we're gonna we're gonna run short of them in a moment, obviously. Um, the duplicates also happen automatically as well, so any duplicates we've got so far have all been acquitted for, and we, we've got the bonage salvage for it. So it looks like we've got. Is it just one more? drop to go I think guys have we got one more let's go with this last one I think this is the last drop that we've got and then we're down to one key so we'll have to start building them again through gameplay so on the last one not too much going on there uh, we've got another emblem there another camo and another variation of gun so let's have a quick look at these gun variations I'll let you read them and you can have a look at them yourself that's a nuclear one that guy so instead of getting the 30 kills it looks like we only need to get 25 on that one so that's cool We've got the scratches on the pistol there. I'm going to try and turn it so you can see it in a different light there. And also the psychedelic. Now if you look as well, I have put the nether, that Neversoft little tag on the side of the gun there. And you can see it's pretty cool as it actually hangs off. That little eyeball at the end there. I do really like that. But that's psychedelic. That's really cool. I've just turned it to the light there. And the more light you get, the more better that looks. It's like a kind of a bubble um, that you've, you've just blown. There's the Starry Night one. That, again, that's really nice. And it's going to be interesting because there, those little accessories on the side, that little eyeball I've got, there's so many of those accessories that I can't wait to get them. Well, one of them is a zombie head, so I can't wait to get that. I'm going to try and get that as soon as I possibly can. There's another variation of gun. That's the EBR 800 this time. And you can see up the top there, just above it, the actual um, abilities that it has. Extra for that variation of gun, which is, again, really, really cool. Um, and we've got a legendary one there on the Oni, Fortuitous, that is really cool. And again, another two attributes there. One of them is the skill, which looks really, really good. I'm going to try and use them out. But anyway, take care, guys. I hope you enjoyed.